Howdy everybody, welcome to Riata Horsemanship. I'm Luke Brown and today is Motivational Monday. I'm very excited to be with you here today. And the horse I'm riding is Rip. Now, if you remember last week, Rip, I had just started him and he was on his second day of the training at Riata Horsemanship and his third day overall, uh, because I did an evaluation with him first. So I consider that the first, actually his first session, that evaluation. Uh, but, but he's had six sessions since then. So I had six sessions last week and today's the seventh session. And, to, and right now, literally, is the first time he's been outside the arena. He's nice and calm. He wasn't afraid of water. We didn't cross water, but we walked by running water. And he's doing, he's doing really well. He's quite the incredible little horse, a two-and-a-half-year-old Mustang. And I love these Mustangs. I love, to, I love to work with Mustangs. They're very smart, very intelligent. They've got good feet. Usually, uh, usually they're not trippy horses. They're not stumbly horses and uh, they learn really quickly and so i i just love working with them rip's doing a great job he is he is kind of one of a kind not all horses come along this fast but some do and he's one of them that that does and so there's a combination of of the training the trainer that you have working with your horse and then the horse's nature and intelligence and rip he's doing he's doing pretty well right now and literally like we've been out for about uh maybe 10 minutes or so or a little less than 10 minutes and that's the first time we went down a little hill and he kind of sped up right there so i had to try to control his speed and we'll work on all this stuff but right now i'm filming obviously so i can't work on too much but uh just having a lot of fun at riata horsemanship if you guys have any horses that that need need work uh bring them to riata horsemanship you know i last week i worked with a horse <coughs> and they've they posted some some about this horse his name is wiley he's a registered paint and uh he he came to me for literally just two sessions and in two sessions we we came a, a long ways with him he'd been sat on twice just just uh, his owner sat on him and then and she had worked him on the ground some had done quite a bit of groundwork i guess with him and so she'd done a good job with some of that groundwork and then i just worked worked with him and helped him get to the point where that first session i was riding him in the round pens and the second session the next next day was riding him again in just like 30 or 45 minutes and then we went down to a stream and taught him how to cross water on the ground. So I didn't do it under saddle, but I taught him how to cross water under the ground, on the on the ground. And uh, he came along really quickly. And ho hopefully, you know, if she needs a little more training, if uh, we're going to do that in the future, but she's going to try to take him from there. So if you have a horse and he's got some some issues, or she's got, has some issues that you're not so sure about, bring him to Riata Horsemanship, and I'll do an evaluation for for, for free. And then we'll go from there. You know, if we can get through the problem on that free evaluation, you'll just take home some, some good advice and hopefully your horse will be better for it. <coughs> and for Motivational Monday, excuse me, for Motivational Monday, I, I've been listening to Jim Rohn this morning. I really like Jim Rohn. You know, he passed away a number of years ago, but he was, he was Tony Robbins' mentor. And he talks a lot about his mentor. And now all the great ones have mentors. And... Um, Jim Rohn is certainly his his advice is is a mentorship that I follow religiously pretty much, and he was talking about change or he said, don't wait for things to change. If you want things to change, change yourself. So when you change yourself, things will change, and and it's very profound because th things happen to all of us. You know, life is about uh, life is about change. Life is about unpredictability. And there's there's a lot of unpredictable stuff that goes on, you know, even even to the point of death, we're all going to die someday, and we don't know when that is, and we don't know when our time is up. There, there's that unpredictability. There's unpredictability with horses, and and there's unpredictability with every, with everything. But the one thing that we can make certain of is what we do with our time, and how we spend our time, and how we work on changing ourselves. We all have a lot to learn and a lot to work on. And if we work on focusing on ourselves and changing ourselves and improving ourselves, then everything else will change, certainly because our perception will change, um, our energy will change, our knowledge and skill set will change, and we'll become more valuable to ourselves, to our family, to our community, and to the world. And as we become more valuable, we'll make more money and uh, we'll help more people. And, you know, making money isn't the end-all, be-all, but it certainly can help people in their lives. And, and if you... You, if you don't have money, donate your time, but, but try to make a change every day, make a small change. And it's the same thing with horses. If you just make, if you be consistent every day at making a positive change with your horse, it's going to go a long ways 
uh, to helping that horse become the great horse that, and the safe and fun horse that you've always dreamed of. Hope you guys have a wonderful day. Uh, until next time, live with passion, live with purpose, and as always, stay safe in the saddle.